doesn't apply for the North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows. His name popped up in reports today, and Meadows sent out this statement as a result, saying, quote, serving as chief of staff would be an incredible honor. The president has a long list of qualified candidates, and I know he'll make the best selection for his administration and for the country. Here is what is very clear right now, Connell. We do not believe there is a front runner at this point. Oh, Connell. Ooh, you had me going there for a second. I thought it was just something else. Thank you, Blake. No, Blake Berman. Melissa. Here now to react is Governor Mike Huckabee, former Arkansas governor, Fox News contributor. Okay, so you have some intimate knowledge of what it's like to work day to day with the president because, of course, your daughter has had a very successful stint there as press secretary. So I'm sure that you have a good sense of what it would take in order to do this job well. What are some of the big qualities you think that maybe people aren't talking about? Well, I think first and foremost is loyalty to the president and the ability to keep a confidence. Uh, and I think John Kelly served in that capacity, but a person's got to be able to manage something big, uh, have the background to understand how a large organization works. And quite frankly, the chief of staff has to be, and forgive my language here, they've got to be the SOB in the entire operation. The president should deliver good news, the chief of staff delivers bad news. The president hires people, the chief of staff fires people. The chief of staff uh, is not there to change the president but it's to make sure that the president's job, his work, his message uh, gets through the staff and through the government in a way that's most effective. So it's not to see if you can ride herd on the president or, or make him quit tweeting. It's to take all of his strengths and make them work for the benefit of the country. Seems like the people that have been most successful with him have been military generals and women. What do you think? I think that's true. Uh, he has great respect for women who are strong. He has great respect for people who have accomplished something significant in life, whether it's a four-star general, because a person doesn't get four stars on their shoulder uh, by being lazy or being incompetent. Uh, he also has great respect for people who've been successful in business. So.